Hello again, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. Today's blog entry is entitled Grandparents Day. Well, September the 8th has been designated as Grandparents Day, according to the flower and gift industry. Certainly, grandparents are worthy of a bouquet or an outing at the Golden Corral, but if we really want to please them, how about some things that would truly make a difference in their lives? For example, staying in touch and visiting on a regular basis, that would be nice. Cards and flowers on one day without an ongoing presence only heightens our absence and recalls our neglect throughout the rest of the year. Um, raising our own children would definitely be helpful. A growing phenomenon in our society is that grandparents are raising their children's children because the parents have split or refused to take on this responsibility themselves. Paul the Apostle says that if anyone does not provide for his own, and especially for those of his household, he has denied the faith. First uh, Timothy chapter 5 verse 8. This providing includes the care and training of children by the parents, not the grandparents. Grandparents can help, can encourage, uh, but the emotional as well as physical responsibilities remain with the parents unless there are truly impossible circumstances. I suppose that what grandparents, especially Christian grandparents, want um, is that their children and grandchildren love the Lord themselves. The best gift grandparents can receive is the knowledge that the generations that come after them will also follow them into heaven as faithful Christians. So buy them flowers and reserve a table at the cafeteria, but to make them really happy, why not have all three generations sit together at worship this Sunday and celebrate the chain of faith that binds you together in Christian love. Well, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.